Thanks for staying with us today. Following a decade of war, more than 320,000 troops are coming home with traumatic brain injuries called commonly TBI. Many of them do eventually get better, but tens of thousands suffer for years and there's no proven treatment. Colorado Public News has found the military is two years behind on testing one treatment, which shows promise. News 5's Rob Cork brings us the incredible story of one veteran who's now finding hope in that treatment. In Iraq, Margot Vare was a fearless Humvee gunner. She was even featured in national news stories about women in combat. We need a leader! But things changed when an explosion threw her into this turret. Can you smile for me? Is that good? A traumatic brain injury paralyzed Margot's face. Though her paralysis went away, at just 23 years old, she was 100% disabled, with memory loss and severe migraines, ones of tens of thousands of soldiers with ongoing problems. After several failed treatments, including brain surgery, the one-time Colorado High School soccer star has found her best remedy has been hyperbaric oxygen. It's good. Now, after more than 100 treatments paid for by donors, the veteran who couldn't think straight a year ago can follow a recipe. For one, I'm not on medicine, so that's not clouding up my, my judgment. And it's easier to comprehend just the simple things like one-fourth cup is not one-fourth teaspoon. <laughs> Margo and other troops have been treated at Boulder's Rocky Mountain Hyperbaric Institute. The Institute's president, Eddie Gomez, explains that pure, pressurized oxygen has been approved by the FDA for healing wounds and carbon monoxide poisoning. Scientists say it could help TBI because it revitalizes damaged tissue. They're idling nerves. It's uh, a little halo around that injury. And the oxygen gets to those neurons. It helps wake them back up, gets them active. Though dozens of brain injured soldiers are finding oxygen is helping their symptoms, it is not approved by the FDA to treat TBI. So the military won't pay for it. But two years ago, in an urgent call to help the alarming number of brain-injured soldiers coming home, Congress put pressure on the Pentagon to start large-scale testing on hyperbaric oxygen. Congressman Pete Sessions led the charge back then, and he's frustrated the military is late starting research, which was supposed to have been finished by last year. We have too many members of the military that are still suffering, that commit suicide on a daily and weekly basis, and I believe it's our obligation to do the very best we can to make sure that these men and women receive the best treatment. But finally, the results are in the hands of doctors treating TBI. Hyperbaric oxygen studies have begun on soldiers at Fort Carson and elsewhere. We have room for up to 18 soldiers. Fort Carson's lead investigator, Lieutenant Colonel Rob Price, is a military doctor and a hyperbaric specialist. When I treat patients with dive injuries, it is a miracle cure. And uh, to see that kind of miracle occur means that maybe there is something to it in TBI, and we need to look into it further. So why did it take an army that can invade another country in six months, more than two years, to start testing on a treatment which could help hundreds of thousands of injured troops? Price says there were months of committee meetings, hiring contractors, leasing the research facilities, and acquiring the hyperbaric chambers. It will be at least another three years before the tests show whether oxygen is the cure the military is looking for. By then, there may be thousands of new brain injuries, and veterans like Margot Vare will have to wait. Rob Quirk, News 5. Fascinating stuff.